Good morning, it's Friday, June 26, 2009. I'm Julie Bedanes, and this is the Morning Briefing, a rundown of the stories we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. From DC's U Street to Los Angeles to Harlem's Apollo Theater and across the world, fans are mourning the sudden death of pop icon Michael Jackson today. Fans flooded to the UCLA Medical Center where the singer was declared dead at 5.26 p.m. Thursday after suffering a cardiac arrest. He was 50 years old. An autopsy was planned for Friday, but the results will not be final until toxicology tests are completed, which could take days or even weeks. In Congress, the House is working to pass a landmark climate bill to combat global warming by limiting carbon emissions and expanding renewable energy sources. Through a cap and trade system, the House bill would cut carbon emissions 17 percent below 2005 levels by 2020 and 83 percent by 2050. It would affect everything from how much energy a single household could use on things like outdoor light bulbs and backyard hot tubs. And Iranian supporters of the opposition continue protests this week, but with government crackdown making mass demonstrations more difficult, the protesters have gotten more creative, especially with the use of the web. The Washington Times has learned that now many Iranians are using a secure internet program originally developed by and for the use of the U.S. Navy. The system, called the Onion Router, allows users to visit government-banned websites by routing web requests through proxy servers. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for these stories and your continuous news updates. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you right back here next week.